Steve Simon, chairman of the Women's Tennis Association, announced Wednesday the immediate suspension of all WTA tournaments in China, including Hong Kong. He said the decision was made with the full support of the WTA board of directors amid concerns about the safety of the Chinese tennis player Peng Shuai. In fact. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, no international sports events were held in China last or this year. Till now, only the 2022 Winter Olympics will be held in Beijing as scheduled. Even if the WTA did not cancel tournaments in China, it is highly likely those events could not go ahead due to the continuing epidemic. Simon is boycotting in a high-profile manner some events that only have a slim chance of being held in an attempt to garner attention for himself and the WTA, shaping themselves as a hero team that defends the so-called human rights. WTA claims that Peng's assurance that everything is fine is not credible. And it has been pushing accusations over and over again that Peng was acting. It's fair to say WTA is seriously coercing Peng. Such coercion has deprived Peng of freedom of expression, forcing her to complain in accordance with the imagination and expectations of Western public opinion, fabricating that she has lost her freedom. Peng is an athlete who is destined to be connected with the West. The message the WTA sent to her is that, as long as she wants to satisfy the West, she will have to endorse the latter's accusations against China.